rainy season, especially the first rainy season, the water they are getting to drink from the stream is contaminated. And as a result, we, we experience a lot of diarrhea during that period and a lot of our children died. With these experiences, I began to feel that there is a need to do something about the whole thing. And uh, thank God when I came and counter with the uh, Mennonite Central Committee, I was able to share with them of what the community are passing through. And they come to our aid where we are now working as a partner in bringing water to the people in this community. And ever since we bring this water, there is a lot of change in the life of the people. Formerly, the women, they do complaints of leg, swelling of leg pains because they would travel for longer hours to get water and having coming back they will experience such and the less hour is spent also in the farm but now with the coming of the water more hour is now spent in the farm to get their money their income if the ball will break down they will not waste time to the next day immediately they will call themselves together the maintainer team then and change this particular one and that is the most unique things about this uh, this borehole that the MCM is drilling through the support of MCC. I'm walking among my people. We are grateful because of this water that these people have joined hand with the MCM, working partner as a partnership. Now many people, all the villages that we are working here, the most of the village they benefit. So we are thanking God that how God used the people. He said before <coughs> the children are suffering, even them they are suffering. But because of a coming of a missionary here, they are now no any suffering like before. He said before when even the sick, even the children, even the adult. If they sick, they took them to the hospital, they would tell them that uh, it's because of the water that they are taking, that way they be affected with the uh, corona. The, the community, the, we, the, the, the water that they drink, for instance, come from the mountain, and then this water, the animal are drinking from it, people are bathing from the up, and then people are drinking it from the down. And then as you can see, as we cross the river, you see some people are bathing here, some are fetching it that side, some people are bathing there, some are fetching that side. So it's very obvious that there are a lot of contamination in this water. Plus the fact that animals also drink from the same water, and then the community also drink from the same water. So we feel that if we can have a bowl that has just around this area where I'm standing, around this side, we can serve the whole community here. And people around this place can at least can use from the water and it can reduce the you know the, the issue of all, all the diseases, waterborne diseases, like all the typhoid and what have you, and then the children, the death rate among children will also be reduced. This is uh, the latrine, the ventilator, the improved pit. Uh, it was constructed where we sited borehole. And uh, normally the people were not used to it. The community were not used to it because they just go to the bush and pass their feces. And these ones, when the rain falls, they take it to the stream and spread it around. But with the constructions of the ventilator, the improved pit, we can now see that the community member Though not everybody, they come here and make use of the lottery here, which they were not used to before. Now there is no longer open defecation. Everything is closed now, because normally when they pass it, when it is open, the flies will go there, take it to where they cook their food, and it will contaminate the food. As a result, it will also result to diarrhea. But now we have less of those things, less of those problems now since it is no longer open. But what motivated me mostly was that when I see, when I saw the condition of the people, how they so much did in idol worship and drunkenness, that is the other, the kind of life they live. 
they don't think about tomorrow they don't think about what we call next they don't know anything about god in fact it touches my heart that these are people that don't even know about the god that created them they don't care about it they don't know anything about it they just see life as if you just come into life eat and drink and do all kind of a things so that 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 motivated me to say that these people need to know God. God is God has been faithful unto us. We've not we've not been paid ever since we started this work. We've been living like that. The mother died as a result of just minor ailment, fever, and I adopted her, and God kept her. And as I'm telling you about this girl, it wasn't really easy in bringing her up. And we're also trusting her in her area of education for God's provision so that God can take her as she is to another level. We're trusting her. The meaning of Haske means light. I call that light so that she will be a light unto their own people.